Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're in a Roblox game called Retro Studio and this is basically Roblox in 2009 for, or from 2009 to 2015. And uh, this is pretty much how it looked. So yeah, we're gonna get into this. We're not gonna be playing any games today. Instead, we're gonna be using Roblox Studio in 2009. It's absolutely insane to me that in this game, you could play uh, who knows how many games. And you can even, like this is the whole Roblox website, guys. So if I go to build, boom, I can edit a place and it'll put me in a studio that's like 2009 studio. Now this, first off, ugh, white. Can, is there probably not even a dark mode yet? Here's the base plate, and this is how everything looked, guys. So, I don't think you were actually able to place in your own objects everything you had to get from the toolbox, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and these were the only materials. Nice. <laughs> so, I'm looking, and I looked through here earlier. Also asked for my friends, and yes, you have to get everything from the toolbox. But I could get like, I don't know, grab this block, and then I can find whatever tools we can use. We have scale here. There we go. And uh, I can build like that. So we're going to try to build, I don't even know, maybe like a little house on some green. Uh, who knows? <laughs> it's uh, definitely, I've never used this studio also, hotkeys don't really work in here. I can't hold alt and, uh, you know, scale multiple sides at once, so that is kind of tough, but it's all good. Our properties menu hasn't really changed. Wow, this has. Wow. Um, I'm gonna go like this kind of a green, because why not? There we go. And, uh, let's see. I want to grab another part. We can do duplicate. That is nice. Uh, hey, let's make, like, a house. This is so, so weird to think. That back in 2009, this is what builders had to do. You know what? It kind of reminds me of Brick Planet. If you guys want to see me try to build something on Brick Planet, definitely let me know because uh, I've thought about doing it as a video, but I've never, uh, you know, wanted to dedicate my time to it. All right. Um, okay. Those still work. That's nice. So we do have some hotkeys. Let's go ahead and uh, make this into more of a house we'll go should the do this doors the door's not going to be in the middle we're going to put the door like over this way some something like that perfect yo it's not as bad as i thought it was going to be i genuinely thought i'm going to have to search in the toolbox each time i want a new thing but um with just duplicating and scaling i could do quite a bit of stuff so there we go we have like a house shape as well as some grass so that's nice well what happened have i always been building this high oh no i moved the grass all right let me drag this back and back this way some now let's go ahead and make the door frame i'm just gonna scale all of these boom and drag it in drag this down and change the color to like a uh i will just yeah a little bit darker that'll work Okay, I don't know. <laughs> the, some hotkeys work and some don't, so I'm really struggling over here. But it's all good. I think I'm doing all right. We're gonna have this perfect. Ooh, the classic trees from 2009, bro. Look at this. Okay, I could still copy and paste. That's nice. I could drag this around. Cool. This needs to be darker. Let's go all the way like down here. All right. And then what happens if we just search for tree? Tree. Oh, there's actually some, like, there's actually some pretty good ones. I thought it was just going to be, like, the ball that's on top of the, on top of the thing. Wow, what is this? This material only shows with their time era set to late, 2013 or later. Can I change the time era of this? I don't know how to do that, so I'm skipping it. We're actually just going to use this tree because I don't think free modeling was frowned upon back in the day. Um, so we're going to just use this tree. With, um, can we not scale it, though? Where is our scale? Can we not scale the tree? Okay, we might not be using the tree, actually. It doesn't seem like uh, there's any scale that you can actually do. You can rotate. Those pop up fine. We can move it. That pops up fine. But when we go to scale, there's nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> all right. It looks like we're not using that tree, guys. How is this one looking? You know what? I'm not mad at it. Uh, I'm not mad at it. Where'd it go? Uh, <laughs> okay, let's bring this down. There we go. Oh, yeah, this is looking nice. And they're all just these big blocks. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so can I just select sort of uh, everything? All right, and boom. Let's unselect these. Let's grab these two, and that should be... 
Oh no, that actually grabbed some of the trunk too. This is not, not fun guys. <laughs> this is not fun, but I do love seeing um, how much Roblox has evolved. Wow, look how messy it is. Like all of the points. That's so ugly to look at. Uh, we want to change this to no way there wasn't smooth plastic. This is it. Wow. These are, wow, and it tells you the dates. That's so cool. Neon came out in 2015, guys. So it looks like we're going to run plastic on this. I got to say, I like this wood texture. Well, not like how messed up it is, but like the style. If we were to just look at one side, I like this wood texture better than the current one we have on Roblox. I'm going to say it. I had to say it. <laughs> but let's grab all of these. I'm going to make those plastic as well. Because even though we're in 2009, I'm still trying to stay true to my style. So, plastic. There we go. We got a tree. Let's uh, delete this guy because we don't need him. And uh, let's kind of place some of these trees around. Something like that. Can we scale these? We cannot. Wait, could you not scale models? Let me test this. Control G. You couldn't scale models. <laughs> Wow. Wow. I just tried to, um, I, I tried to control Z and it just deleted my part. That was kind of annoying. Wait, how does this work? Oh, I think I could just bring it one more out. There we go. All right. So you can't actually scale models, guys. That is pretty crazy, but I can do a little work around and scale the trunk at the, the lower side of the model. And, uh, and then I could scale these as well, I suppose. It's not going to look fantastic, but nothing in 2009 did. <laughs> so I think we're a-okay. Okay. All right, <laughs> something like that, guys. It's not looking the absolute worst. Let me try to make some sort of a little path. It's going to be a, a very big path because, yeah, uh, I don't know how to change. Oh, increments, 0.5. Nice. Okay, your boy's on it. Your boy's on it. Let's go out this way a little bit. There we go. And uh, I don't think we can really do much curves or anything like that. Wow, we need to uh, bring this in some and then go down. There we go. Look at us. We're making the big moves. Um, so probably a little bit more out as well. So it looks uh, the same. There we go. Nice. What else do we want to do? Of course, we need a roof on this house. So I feel like that's going to take me a little bit of time. So I'm going to just jump back when I get it done. Oh, yeah, the roof is done. Let's go. Now we need to kind of uh, fill it in. So I think the best way to do this is going to be something like this. Let me go to my scale tools. Perfect. Drag this in. Oh, whoops. I must have. Wow, I can barely click on this thing. <laughs> Drag this in. Something like that. Looks good. Perfect. And then duplicate it. Scale it down on both sides because we can't do alt scale. And then we need to raise it up. This this is also going to be quite the process. Let me just duplicate all of them first. There we go. And now I can switch to my scale tools and just uh, get all of them right where they need to be. And it looks like I actually don't even have to affect all of them. Oh, yeah, I do. We don't want this clipping. There we go, guys. And now what I'm going to do is copy all of these and duplicate them around the back. So control D. Perfect. And then we just have to move them to back here. This is not that fun, though, <laughs> but we do have a house with some trees, so we're doing pretty good. I need to have some sort of a window. Let me go to scale here. Duplicate. Nice. We'll bring this back over this way. All right, guys, there we go. And then we need, uh, of course, a little frame for the window. There we go, guys. We have a window frame. This game's looking absolutely incredible. Should we try to uh, add on some, some materials, dare I say? What do we got? We got concrete, corroded metal. Dang. We, we, yeah, there's not really anything that I would want to use. Ugh, this is the concrete texture in 2009? Yikes, bro. Okay, we're sticking with, uh, we're going to stick with plastic here because it looks pretty good. I am interested in this toolbox, though. Let's see. Admin only door? Oh, yeah, you know we got to have this. This is the embodiment of Roblox 2009, okay? Let me, let me switch this rotate tool. Put that something like that. Oh, yeah, that's that's nice. Okay, what else do we got that really sends out 2009 to us? Oh, my gosh. Guys, if you didn't play Roblox when these cars were, like, awesome, <laughs> you missed it. You just missed all of Roblox. Let me see. Anything else that we have that could be cool? A ceiling fan. This looks more like a bar stool. <laughs> oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're putting the ceiling fan in. At this point, guys, I'm just going to free model stuff because, uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> I feel like that was the most of what got done back in the day. 
was, uh, hey, let's figure out the models we can use and just use them. But right now, most of the, uh, most of the toolbox nowadays is just, uh, crammed with stolen assets. What is this? Okay, guys, let me, um, let me anchor everything. Uh, anchor. It's literally an anchor icon. Nice. And then for playing, um, anchored. Okay, I don't know if it's anchored or not, but it's okay. We're gonna play here. Oh, yeah, of course, everything's unanchored. So we have this part manipulator. Um, uh, this was the backpack? Okay, what does this do? Yo! Can we... <laughs> so, guys, in exactly 13 minutes, I have made a working game from 2009. I am uh, above satisfied with myself. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yes. Look at this. Okay, guys. I think uh, I think that's actually going <laughs> to wrap up the video. I've sort of broken everything. But, um, wow. That's all it takes to make a working game, man. And I bet, I really do bet, back in the day, stuff like this, just um, like being able to break stuff and throw stuff around would have actually been front page worthy. So, hey, we'll be making Robux if we go back to 2009, boys. Maybe even some ticks. But, oh, I could fly with this? Hold on. Kind of, kind of. I think it, if I did it right. Yeah. <laughs> but, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.